Hi. In this video, we are going to understand the ninth chapter, that is, heredity and evolution, which is divided into two parts. In this video, we are going to understand the first part. We will cover the following topics in this video. First, we will know what is heredity and variation. After that, we will know about types of variation. After that, we will learn about accumulation of variation during reproduction. We will also study about important terms. The video mainly helps in study about heredity, that is Mendel and his work on inheritance with their experiments in detail. So, let's start with our first topic. The very first thing that comes to our mind before starting the chapter is, what is heredity and variation? As we know that, genetics deal with the study of heredity and variation. The transmission of characters or traits from one generation to the next generation is called heredity. The differences in the characters or traits between the parent and offspring is called variation. Variation is caused by different combination of genetic material, some positive gene mutations and interaction of gene with environmental changes, that is adaptation. There are several importance of variation. They are Variation forms the basis of heredity. It helps in adaptation. Types of variation. Variation are of two types. They are First one is somatic variation or acquired trait. It takes place in the body cell. It is neither inherited nor transmitted. Examples are Cutting of tails in dogs. Second one is gametic variation or inherited trait. It takes place in the gamete or reproductive cell. Inherited as well as transmitted. Example are human height, skin color. Now, we will study about accumulation of variation during reproduction. Variation occurs during reproduction, whether organisms multiply asexually or sexually. Let's study about it. Variations in asexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, like bacteria, the parent will give rise to two individuals similar in body design, but with subtle difference each of them, in turn, will give rise to two individuals in the next generation. Results are variations are fewer and occur due to small inaccuracies in DNA copying. Variations in sexual reproduction. For this, Mendel took pea plants with different characteristics, a tall plant denoted by capital TT and a short plant denoted by small TT. They are parents and cross them. Produced progeny have all tall offspring denoted by capital T and small t. They are F1 generation. Now, these F1 tall plants to be produced by self-pollination gives not all tall plants. Instead, one quarter of them are short. It results larger variation and these variations occurs due to crossing over and separation of chromosomes and mutation. Before starting Mendel's work, we should familiar with some important terms, which is helpful in study further. They are gene, basic unit of inheritance, characters transferred from parents to their offspring. Genotype, complete set of genes present in an organism. Phenotype, observable character in an organism. Dominant trait, allele, affects phenotype of organism, heterozygous and homozygous condition, 
denoted by capital letter that is tallness is denoted by capital t recessive trait allele affects phenotype of organism in absence of a dominant allele that is homozygous recessive denoted by small letter dwarfness is denoted by small t pure or homozygous condition the condition in which both trait or alleles are dominant that is capital t t and both traits or alleles are recessive that is small t t heterozygous condition hybrid the condition in which one trait is dominant and one trait is recessive denoted by capital t and small t our next topic is mendel and his work on inheritance gregor john mendel was known as father of genetics plant selected by mendel pigeon sativum garden pea a question come in mind why garden pea it is because they are easy to grow due to short life span of plants easily distinguishable characters normally allows self fertilization but cross fertilization can also be carried out large number of seeds produced and so on lastly we will talk about seven pairs of contrasting characters in garden pea the contrasting character traits are height of plant seed shape seed color pod color pod shape pod coat color and flower position the dominant traits for the characters are tall round yellow green inflated green and axial respectively while the recessive traits are dwarf or short wrinkled green yellow constricted white and terminal as in the chart mendel's experiments mono hybrid cross cross between two pea plants with one pair of contrasting characters is called a mono hybrid cross for example cross between a tall and a dwarf plant he took pure bred parental generation a pure tall plant that is capital t t crossed with a pure short plant that is small t t produced progeny is f1 generation they are no medium height plant all plants were tall of spring denoted by capital t and small t f1 plants were left to self pollinate gives f2 generation he observed that all f1 progeny were tall no medium height plant f2 progeny 3 by 4th were tall and 1/4th were short phenotypic ratio of f2 progeny were 3 is to 1 3 tall is to one short and genotypic ratio where one is to two is to one one pure tall two hybrid tall one short plants through mono hybrid cross experiments mendel proposed two laws first one is laws of dominance it states that one factor in a pair of traits dominates the other in inheritance unless both factors in the pair are recessive and the second one is law of segregation it states that during production of gametes two copies of each hereditary factor segregate so that offspring acquire one factor from each parent now the next topic is dihybrid cross a cross in which two pairs of character are studied is called dihybrid cross for example cross between two pea plants one have round yellow seed other have wrinkled green seed let's study about it he took pure bred parental generation a pure round yellow seeds 
denoted by capital S S Y Y, were crossed with a pure wrinkle, green set, denoted by small S S Y Y. All the F1 generation showed only the dominant form for both traits. All hybrid that is, all yellow and round seed. When these F1 generation allowed to self pollinate, F2 seeds were obtained. Their phenotype ratio was about 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 ratio. At last, through dye hybrid cross experiments, Mendel proposed third law, that is law of independent assortment. It states that alleles of different characters separate independent from each other during gamete formation. Now, the next topic is sex determination. Sex determination is the process of determination of sex of an offspring. There are several factors which is responsible for sex determination. They are, first one is environmental factor and second one is genetic factor. Now, at last we are going to study about sex determination in human beings. In human beings, 23 pairs of chromosomes present. Out of these, 22 pairs chromosomes called autosomes and one pair called the sex chromosome. All human chromosomes are not paired. Women have a perfect pair of sex chromosomes, both called X. Men have a mismatched pair in which one is normal sized X while the other is a short one called Y. When both parental gametes, sperm, that is paternal gamete, and egg, that is maternal gamete, fertilized and produces offspring as shown in the chart. The chart shows half the children will be boys and half will be girls. All children will inherit an X chromosome from their mother regardless or whether they are boy or girls. Therefore, sex of the offspring in human and in mammals is determined by what they inherit from their father. So that's all in this chapter. Thanks for watching.